Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning everyone Today I would like to explain about an aerobic treatment for sugarcane waste solution Before we get started, let me introduce myself My name is Adila Lina Putri Amutya My identification number is 19010037 I'm student in Polytechnic LBP Yogyakarta. My majoring is Chemical Engineering. So, let's get started. Sugar is one of staple ingredients that is daily necessary for people in Indonesia or in various other countries. Therefore, sugarcane industry is one of the most important agricultural industries. As a consequence, sugarcane factory has a significant wastewater production. Most of sugarcane industries in developing countries discharge their wastewater without adequate treatment. The sugar factory wastewater contain high organic material, so make it dangerous if discharged directly into environment. This wastewater has a high BOD, COD, and TSS. And what is the meaning about BOD, COD, and TSS? BOD, biochemical oxygen demand, is amount of dissolved oxygen that required by microorganisms to decompose inorganic material. COD or chemical oxygen demand is a amount of a chemical compound for oxygen to decompose inorganic material. And then, TSS, total suspended solid is the portion of fine particulate matter that remains in suspension in water. And then, TDS, total dissolved solid, is the term used to describe the inorganic salt and small amounts of organic matter present in solution in water. DO, dissolved oxygen, is the amount of oxygen that is present in water. Quality of water If a dissolved oxygen in water is high, while BOD, COD, and TSS is low, the water quality will be better. On the other hand, if the BOD, COD, and TSS values are high, the water quality will be worse and it will decrease the O value. According to Water Prevention and Control Pollution says Rules 19 and 78, water needs in sugar factory is 2.0 meter cubic per ton sugarcane meal and then produce wastewater 0.40 meter cubic per ton sugarcane meal. A lot of wastewater is generated from cleaning process unit, for example, mill unit, evaporation unit, centrifugal unit, and many other process units. The material contains in sugarcane factory wastewater, there are waste juice, detergent, biggest particles, oils and fats, sugar solids. The wastewater sugarcane production contains a lot of BOD with a concentration 60 to 5103 mg per liter and COD with concentration 110 to 12 to 111.44 mg per liter. 
the large concentration of BOD in wastewater is caused by juice and sugar solids are waste in the process production. Next, anaerobic treatment has some advantage. First, anaerobic treatment less energy consumed. Then, anaerobic treatment can generate methane that can be energy source. And anaerobic treatment less much generate, therefore decrease cost available. An anaerobic treatment use some reactor. One of them is upload an anaerobic slash blanket or UASB tank. UASB tank is a system which wastewater entered to anaerobic tank where there is already activated sludge that contain microorganism or sludge blanket and then will be processed to produce methane. Upflow anaerobic sludge blanket can decrease COD contain up to 80% in fruits and vegetables industry. For using organic weight amount 2.7 gram COD per liter, it can create average efficiency up to 86% for 5 weeks. In my opinion, the most effective research to be applied in the treatment of wastewater is anaerobic treatment because it will produce long-chain fatty acid at the stage hydrolysis, which hinder the formation process methane. Also, anaerobic process partially break down nutrient. What's more, none of them are able to remove all organic substance contained in wastewater. Anaerobic management has higher efficiency compared to the method other. In addition, this method also costs money which is relatively smaller compared to the method other. The disadvantage of this method, however, is that it is not able to treat the wastewater content in the form of fats and oil and the resulting effluent further processing is necessary. There is explanation about anaerobic treatment for sugarcane wastewater solution. If you have any question, please drop on the comment below. I hope you all enjoy my explanation and I apologize if there is any mistake. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe our YouTube channel. Stay healthy and thank you for watching my video. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.